What's up, Knights? Xantos here with another instructional video. Uh, today in our video, we're going to be taking a peek at the Troll Hunt event, uh, the new event that has come into Knighthood. Uh, it is quite the phenomenal event, if you ask me. Uh, there's a big fat stack of rewards that you can get from it. And uh, for the first time, they've uh, introduced a premium pass. And with the purchase of the premium pass for only uh, 6 dollars Canadian, uh, I'm not sure how that will change in price for different countries, but in Canada, it's $6.99. Um, you have the chance at a ton of rewards, a ton of really, really, really useful rewards, especially to um, a beginner player. These rewards are, are really, really phenomenal. Um, taking a quick peek at uh, what you can get here in the set, uh, you'll have the opportunity at a ton of hero chests, uh, some gem chests, gold chests, some customization chests, gold. You'll also have the opportunity at uh, the Maverick Rogue Hero Eileen, who is a uh, strong versus troll hero. She seems like she could be very useful in the event. Uh, I'm at 40 of 50 shards right now. I still haven't unlocked her. I, I didn't get lucky in my first chest, but... She seems like she'll be very useful in the event. Uh, along with this, they're going to be giving a set of legendary uh, heavy armor, along with uh, pretty good charm roll slots in it. Um, some pretty cool style customization items that you can get from the past as well. Now, all of these items, uh, in order to obtain them, you're going to have to be taking out the roaming monsters, uh, completing challenge events and taking out the portal. So today we're going to be going into the portal and just demonstrating how we take on the level 45 portal, uh, the combos that we use, the strategies that we implement, and uh, hopefully if if any other knights are having troubles with this, maybe this uh, this guy can help you out, help you strategize a little bit better. Taking a quick peek here. We're going to look at our enemies. Now, the big enemy of this dungeon is Dover Gubbin. Uh, Dover Gubbin is a heavy troll type. He has the about ability to squish you uh, that can do a ton of damage to you. Now, keep in mind, this attack gets stronger uh, if you're shrunk by some of the mage heroes, uh, mage enemies in the back row. And uh, also, every time you hit this enemy, he grows in strength. So this needs to be taken into consideration when fighting him. Uh, he is vulnerable to acid and expose, and he is resistant to poison and weaken. Uh, okay, and now we're going to hop on over to the Moss Hide Warriors. Uh, Moss Hide Warriors are a light troll enemy, which have the ability to calcify. Uh, calcify turns them to stone for a turn, and uh, during that turn, they can uh, re uh, regain health. Um, along with that, uh, though, while they are turned to stone, uh, they're still susceptible to hammer-type weapons. Uh, because of that, we, we bring a troll hammer with us. And then uh, our last enemy we're going to be taking a peek at here is the Mosshide Forger. Uh, they have the ability to shrink you. So these are the enemies that are going to be sitting in the back row trying to uh, reduce your size and uh, increase the damage that you'll be taking from the bigger enemies. So we're definitely going to be wanting to take these guys out as quickly as possible. All right, uh, the combo that we're going to be bringing for this dungeon, uh, rather than bringing the unique sword troll weapon, we actually bring the ultimate slugger. Uh, this is a level 45 hammer weapon that works really well against trolls and uh, inside it I popped 150% um, boost to ultimate damage and 45% uh, boost uh, to get the critical hit on that ultimate attack so the fourth hit in this weapon deals a ton almost almost upwards of 10,000 uh, damage if I can land the critical hit on it <clears throat> uh, the heroes that we'll be bringing are Titania obviously for our heals and focus and along with that we'll be bringing Garen in order to delay the enemies before they get their moves as well as use the uh, very powerful acid attack that he has on his rage power 
because all of these enemies are susceptible to acid. Now, the uh, meter at the top there is telling me that I have a very low uh, chance at winning this dungeon, but we're gonna go into it right now and I'll give you guys a demonstration on how to take out the 45 portal facing level 50 enemies. Alright, in we go. Uh, gonna start off with punches and bunches here. And I'm gonna throw my fourth attack on over to the Moss Eyed Warrior. As you can see, I hit him for almost 10,000 damage there because of the uh, critical hit boost that I have in my weapon. Another three punches here and throwing the fourth one over to him again. We're gonna get some focus here with Titania. Uh, along with that, I think we'll just do three hammer hits on this enemy. Now you'll notice he's going to calcify here. He's gonna turn himself to stone and regain a little bit of health here. Now, this isn't too much of a worry for you, to be honest, if you're bringing a hammer weapon, um, because he's essentially just stunned himself for a turn. He's not gonna be able to attack this turn, and because I'm using a hammer, I'm still able to tee off on him. Just like that, that enemy is dead. Now this golem will launch his big attack on me. Not too worried though. Gonna throw down a little bit more heals. Get my health back up to a good portion. Didn't manage to finish him off that turn, but next turn we'll finish him off. And we're going into the next room with two turns of regenerate and uh, barely a sliver of life lost. Alright, into round two here. It actually just looks like a bunch of golem enemies, but this is why we bring Garen as well because these golem enemies are also susceptible to acid throw down the acid on all of them and then we'll just continue punching in bunches to uh, rebuild our rage meter as you can see all of these golem uh, enemies are taking those strong hits from the acid We'll throw it down again. Aaron's, uh, Aaron's rage power is fairly, fairly powerful. You can do a nice chunk to uh, a bunch of enemies at the same time. And then a couple more punches over there. Building rage. Uh, one more with Titania's focus. Always want to have that focus up when you're using the Maverick Gauntlet. Make sure that you can build rage as much as possible. And with that, we've cleared out the uh, second floor. Alright, we have two Moss Hide Warriors in the front row here, as well as one Golem buffing uh, enemy in the back. So again, uh, with, uh, with Garen's rage power, he can focus those guys in the back row. The acid will kill him next turn. And then we just focus with uh, our very powerful um, troll hammer. And just keep uh, smashing away on them. As you can see, the enemy is teeing off on us. Uh, they're, they're not really producing all that much damage. And uh, because of that, uh, these enemies are, are, are a lot more easy to handle than uh, than the previous Dark Tour event uh, that we had just had. The uh, the Doom mechanic that the uh, Dark Tour enemies implemented was honestly a lot stronger than this Calcify thing that uh, these troll guys do. Uh, it, it, it essentially, it, it's a heal for them that stuns them for a turn if you're using the hammer weapon. And because of that, um, makes it way easier for you to to just fly through this dungeon <clears throat> like this is a, this is a level um a level 45 uh portal level 50 enemies so it, it uh, i'm impressed with myself that i'm able to uh to throw down in the 45 portal for the first time it, it it's nice 
Um, all right, taking a peek at uh, the enemies in the back row here, we have one of the Moss Hide Foragers for the first time. Now, I was a little bit worried about these enemies when I saw what their power was and what they were capable of doing, but once I figured out how much health they actually had, I became much, much less worried from them. So again, dropping uh, Garen's Rage Power here to acid the enemies, but if you take a peek at how much damage this Moss Hide Forager takes in the back row, he's almost dead just from that. So again, they, they're easily taken out in uh, in one turn as long as you have a Rage Power or a back row attacker that uh, is capable of uh, getting back there on the first turn. You want to kill them as quick as possible because that shrink mechanic is uh, is not good. Definitely avoid the shrink. As you can see, the the ba entire back row is taken out now from, uh, from Acid already. Four big hits on this troll. Allow him to calcify. Uh, what we're actually going to do here, uh, just because we can, we've lost about maybe a quarter of our armor. So we're just going to throw back our armor. And get it back on there with Titania. This is why we bring Titania. The uh, three turns of protect and the big heal is huge. As well as the uh, focus and regenerate. Can't go wrong with Titania. Just like that, our health is back up to a very, very manageable position. And we're going to punch this last enemy in order to rebuild our gate. Rage once, once again. Full rage going into the final room. Alright, we have two enemies in the back row here that are the foragers that have the capability to shrink you. Again, following the same combo, we're going to acid them with Garen right off of the bat. Make sure that they are going to be dead within the turn. And uh, along with that, I think I will actually punch this little wee golem over here and uh, build up my rage meter a little bit more. Acid should take him out and both back row enemies. Oops, I had one more punch. What am I doing? Yeah, Acid should take him out and uh, both back row enemies this turn. Excellent. Just like that, we've taken out all of the back row. Now, this enemy here gets stronger every time you hit him. I'll, uh, I'll show you a quick example here. This is what maybe you shouldn't do if you're facing him. Uh, my armor stat is... is uh, is enough to handle this right now as well as I, I have two more turns of Titania's Protect and, and a bunch of heals if I do need it. So, um, as you can see here, uh, I'm going to attack the enemy and he grows in strength. Attack him again, grows in strength, attack him again, grows in strength, and one more time, he's at his max strength here. As you can see, he hits a little bit harder, but at the end of the turn, after he's grown, he shrinks back down to his regular size. Now, my thought process is when he has his move like this, if you hit him four times like that and get him all big, that's the max amount of damage that he can produce to you. So you want to avoid that hit at all costs. Uh, this is why we bring Garen to this dungeon. So uh, if you throw out Garen's base power, has the ability to delay him, takes away his power, and uh, gives you time to to properly attack him and, and and launch the attacks that you want on him. <clears throat> now, because if you hit this enemy, um, he grows in strength. What we're going to do is we're going to attack this troll over here on the left three times, and with our 150% boost to the ultimate attack. We'll send the big strong attack over to him. This gives him only one grow, making him not all that much stronger, and allowing us to focus our strongest hit of the combo into him for the last hit. I attacked this troll on the left for three times there because I didn't have an ultimate attack because I buffed that, uh, buffed that turn. Now, we're going to do the same method here of three attacks on the left, two, three, and then one big hit on him. 
Now, our armor's almost in a point that's been shredded. We're, we're almost at the point in the dungeon. We're starting to get, get tired. But we have focus for four hits here. And I believe in four hits we'll be able to take out this final enemy. So one, two, three, and four. Managed to take him out before he gets his big grow attack on us. And that, my friends, is how you take out the level 45 portal. Uh, my combo with uh, Titania and Garen. And uh, definitely remember to bring a hammer with you. The hammer uh, helps against those those enemies that uh, calcify, makes it makes them susceptible to it. Uh, you could be getting upwards of, of 1,200 event points per run with this method. It's uh, it's really really helpful. I I hope that uh, I, I was able to help out any knights that were struggling a little bit with this. Definitely focus on those hammers for this dungeon. Garen's a great hero. Any hero that provides acid for you is a great hero for this dungeon. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed.